Hello everyone, welcome to AI Tutorials. If you are looking for machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision and AI related videos, then this is the right place for you to subscribe. And don't forget to tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any new video uploads. Thank you. In this video, we are going to learn about NumPy Broadcasting. Before we start this topic, let's do a short recap on few basic concepts on NumPy so that you will understand the reason behind learning this broadcasting technique. First, let's talk about the dimension. If it's a point, then we call that as a zero dimension. If it's a line, then we call it as one. If it is a plane, then it's two. Then solid, it means it's three dimension. But in this video, we will concentrate more on two dimension and one dimensional array. First, as usual, we will import the NumPy array. So import NumPy as NP. Then let's first discuss about one dimension. So here, the one dimensional array is created and it is totally having five elements. So when you check the endem, it will display the dimension. So it's a one dimension and a for shape for the one dimension it will display as a tuple the first element will be the total number of elements present in that particular array totally five elements so if it is a six elements it will be like this if it's a ten element it will be like this so this is how one dimensional array will be mentioned keep this in mind now when we discuss about the two dimensional array or 2D, it will be mentioned like this. That is rows and columns. Here it's a row, comma, column. Two rows, three columns. This is a column and this is a row. That's how matrix will be represented. And uh, when you check the endem, it is a two dimensional array. And for the shape, it will display two, comma, three. That is how many rows and uh, how many columns. Like this two-dimensional shape will be displayed now the next topic when we do the arithmetic operation on same shape and size arrays what exactly will happen is I'm just executing this code we already discussed these things and this is the first array it is a 3 cross 3 3 rows 3 column second array also 3 rows 3 column so when you do the arithmetic operation, it can be plus, minus or whatever be. But for this example, I am considering as addition. When you do that, it will do element wise element addition. That is 10 plus 5, 15. 20 plus 10, 30. 60 plus 75, 135. So the respective element wise element arithmetic operation will be carried out and finally the result will look like this and this will be also 3 into 3 that is 3 rows 3 column this is what happens when we do the arithmetic operation of same shape and size now what we are doing is doing the arithmetic operation of different shape and size so let me execute the code so this is a first matrix, three rows, three columns, first matrix. And this one, it's a four rows, three column. So four comma three. It means both of them are two dimension, but the shapes are totally different. One is three cross three, another one is four cross three. So while doing the arithmetic operation of different shape and size, we will get value error. And you can see we cannot able to perform the broadcasting because both of them having a different shape. Now comes the concept of broadcasting. So if you are clear till this, then good to go for the broadcasting topic. If you are not clear, you can just watch my previous videos on basics concepts on NumPy. So let's see what is broadcasting. Broadcasting is the method in NumPy array used to do the arithmetic operation of different shapes or size while doing the arithmetic operation if it falls under these three rules then 
broadcasting can be done if not you will get the value error so let's see each rules with sample scenario the first one the rule one states if two arrays have exactly same shape then we can do the broadcasting here we are considering two arrays both of them are two dimension just by seeing you can come to the conclusion it contains four rows three column here also four rows three column it means both of them having the exact shape so when we do the arithmetic operation we will get the four cross three matrix and uh, each element wise addition will happen like 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 2 2 then 30 plus 0 30 30 plus 1 31 30 plus 2 32 like that every respective element wise addition will happen and finally we will get the output like this so let's do that using the code first one m1 array 0 10 20 30 and the second one 0 1 2 0 1 2 0 1 2 like this so two arrays then i'm trying to print the array and checking the shape and size the shape is 4 cross 3 4 cross 3 it means both of the shape are same so it satisfies the condition now let's do the arithmetic operation so addition of two matrix 1 0 2 10 11 12 you can see here 1 0 2 10 11 12 20 21 22 30 31 32 the exact output we got it so the rule one is very easy one so broadcasting will happen if the two arrays have exact same shape now scenario number two from the diagram you can come to a conclusion the first matrix is two dimension and second matrix is one dimension let's talk about the shape this is four row three column and this is it's a one dimension when you check the shape you will get three comma this is how you will get the output the rule two states if two arrays with different dimension both of them are in different dimension then array with lesser dimension this is a lesser dimension can have its shape prepended with the dimension of length one it means if this is the scenario this we can convert like prepon means you can add one to the left side this one so like this you can do it now the a matrix shape will be four rows three column and b matrix shape will be one comma three because three comma will be initially that will change to one comma three as per the rule two so this is the shape we got it so in order to satisfy the broadcasting any one value either in the row side or in the column side if we find one then broadcasting will happen that is the thing you have to keep it in mind so here when we compare this 3 and 3 same column is fine then when we compare with the row one is four another one is one so we found one it means broadcasting will work so broadcasting will work means automatically this one comma three will try to stretch its value the same value will be added like this automatically it will create after that it will try to add element by element so that we'll get output like this so even though here dimensions are different but still we can able to do the broadcasting by following the rule 2 let's see that using the code so first we will create two matrix so the matrix m1 will create like this matrix m2 it is just a one dimensional matrix that's why within the list let me execute 
see here this is a 4 cross 3 shape and a second matrix is one dimension that's why we got 3 comma as per the rule you have to add one to the left side of one dimensional array so that this will change to one comma three then broadcasting will happen addition of two matrix when you add now even though dimensions are different still the addition of two matrix is possible with the help of broadcasting so that's the scenario two now the third scenario if the shapes of the two arrays does not match in any dimension but if any one array is having a shape equal to one then broadcasting is possible that is what rule three states it will be little bit confusing while reading the statement let's try to break it up so first let's try to understand its dimension so this is a two dimensional array and this is a one dimensional array so when we consider the shape of 2d it is having four rows one column and this one is three comma we know very well whenever we come across like this what we have to do just apply the rule to you have to add one to the left side of the shape so the shape of matrix one is four cross one matrix two is one cross three so let me put like this a equal to rm1 whatever it is 4 comma 1 and b equal to 1 comma 3 here as per the rule first we are comparing the column in the column itself we found the value number 1 then comparing the row in the row also we found 1 either in column or row wise comparison if we find number one then broadcasting will work so exactly what happened here is this is a four cross one which is changed to four cross three four comma three just by stretching its value that is broadcasting the same value it's creating like this then this one this will stretch in the downside one comma three will change to 4 comma 3 by stretching in the downside then element wise element addition will happen so this is the scenario 3 if two dimensions are different and even shapes are different then apply the rule to and compare the shape then if it satisfies the condition then broadcasting will work now first one 0 10 20 30 it is nothing but column matrix so in order to create like that what we have to do is let me create it m1 equal to np dot range 0 comma 40 comma so using range function i am trying to create it so print m1 execute so it is creating a one dimensional array like this now i have to convert this 1d into 2d then only broadcasting will work just for your understanding purpose i'm checking the shape now so it's a one dimensional array four comma in a tuple now in order to convert this 1d to 2d that's what we say transforming a row vector into a column vector which is a very important concept converting 1d to 2d m1 equal to m1 colon comma and just creating a new axis now print m1 now this particular value is changed so when you check the shape it's a 4 comma 1 initially it's a one dimension now it has changed to two dimension now this is a 4 comma 1 it will work properly same code i copy pasted it so the first matrix shape is four cross one second matrix it's a one dimension and you know very well it's three comma then we have to append one to the shape so that one comma three will happen in the back end then finally broadcasting will work 
So when you do the arithmetic operation, you will get exact result. Regarding material, either you can refer aiforeveryone.com in that under python libraries navigate to numpy for all the topics i have uploaded the materials you can use this link for preparation if not if you want to download and execute then you can use my github you can download the respective ipython notebook and try these concepts hope you got a very clear picture of this numpy broadcasting if you really like this video content don't forget to like this video that's the end of this topic thanks for watching happy learning